David Deutsch is probably best known for his contributions to quantum computing, and each year I think he'll finally get his Nobel Prize. What's not so well known is that he's got his own theory of everything called constructor theory. He and Chiara Maletto just published a paper in which they explain the origin of time. You can't blame them for a lack of ambition. Let's have a look. Time is a big headache for physicists. Despite thinking about it since probably the beginning of thinking, it's remained unclear what time really is, if anything. Many physicists believe now that time fundamentally doesn't exist at all, which makes a great excuse if you're late. Trust me, I'm a physicist. The new paper is an example of how a universe that fundamentally has no time can nevertheless give rise to a universe that has an emergent time, an apparent time that we use to keep track of change. You see, that's how modern physics works. First, we deny the existence of something and then we explain where it came from. More seriously, the reason time is so difficult to make sense of is that it's deeply connected to the problem of quantum gravity. That's the missing unification of Einstein's theory of general relativity and quantum physics. Because these two theories treat time completely differently. In general relativity, time is a coordinate and there are many different ways to choose it. There isn't just one time, there are infinitely many, just like there are infinitely many ways to put a coordinate grid on New York. That sounds confusing enough, but it gets worse if you add quantum physics to the picture. Because if space and time have quantum properties, then we can have several different times at once. If you don't know what it means to have several different times at once, don't worry. No one knows. That's the problem. So normally what one does in quantum gravity is to say, forget about all this. It doesn't mean anything. We'll bootstrap time from matter. That is, one uses the relative changes in matter configurations to construct something resembling a simple clock, for example, an oscillator, and then extract time from that. Okay, so that was the brief summary of how most physicists think about it. Deutsch and Marletto, however, have a very different approach to the laws of nature. Indeed, I must give credit to them for how audaciously they disregard the entire physics canon. If you like radical ideas, you'll love this one. It's like general relativity without the relativity and quantum physics without the quantum. Their idea is that the entire universe is ultimately explained by nothing more than transformations on physical systems. That is, ultimately what defines the universe is which changes are possible. They call those changes tasks. And the tasks are facilitated by, here it comes, constructors, hence the name constructor theory. The constructors ultimately determine what can happen in our universe. A simple example for a constructor could be a chemical catalyst that facilitates a reaction. Constructors basically make things happen. And for this, they need to have a certain level of complexity. They can't be single particles. Constructor theory is therefore emphatically not a reductionist approach. Rather, the idea is that all the fundamental properties of nature are contained in the types of constructors that our universe can bring about. If that sounds weirdly backwards, that's the point. It's a completely different way to think about physics. In their new paper now, they formulate a way one can use constructors to, well, construct time. Your first idea might be to say, we'll use constructors that perform recurring tasks, because this is similar to an oscillation of sorts, and that's what one normally does to construct clocks. But this doesn't work, because one can't know whether the recurrent task actually happens in the same time periods. It could just be getting slower and slower, like Windows updates. What they do instead is that they identify a shortest task, and that is doing nothing. It's when a constructor turns on and 
just turns off. They call this the null task. They take all these possible null tasks and group them together, and then they measure the changes in any system relative to these null tasks. This means one has now introduced a measure of change, which is time in some sense. Guys, I've spent two days trying to figure out how to explain this to you, but this is the best I could manage. It's really highly abstract. But I think that physics needs ideas like this that break out of the dominant framework of differential equations with initial conditions and so on. So I welcome the audacity. That said, honestly, the argument seems somewhat circular to me, because how can a task run if you don't have time already? But maybe my brain is just too small to comprehend this. On my bullshit meter, it's either a 0 or a 10, but I don't know which. I'm hoping constructor theory will eventually build me a better bullshit meter. And now, excuse me, I must attend to some null tasks. Yes, I do read a lot of news and know that chatbots still aren't any good at writing my scripts. But what does help me a lot is Ground News. Ground News is a news platform that collects and summarizes news, which has been published all over the world. Not only do they collect all articles on the same story in one place and give you a quick summary, they also give you a lot of extra information that you don't find in the standard media. Take, for example, this recent story about the US House representative who claims that lawmakers have evidence of interdimensional beings. You can see right away that this story wasn't covered by the political left at all, just center and right outlets. I really think that the political left is missing out on the fun here. Ground News also gives you a factuality check for each news item, which in this case is rather mixed, tells you whom the media outlets are by and where the news has been covered. You can also switch between a focus on US and EU news. Ground News also has this great feature called Blind Spot. This tells you which news has been almost exclusively covered only by one side of the political spectrum. And of course, I have a special offer for you. That's a 40% discount on the Vantage plan, which gives you access to all their features. All you need to do is use my link ground.news slash Sabine or use the QR code. So go and check this out. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.